we've got three 48 inch pipes, four 8 inch nipples, four 90 degree street elbows, two 90 degree elbows, two T's, four chair leg tips, two lock nuts, two quarter inch clothesline hooks, and some Teflon tape. Here's our 90 degree street elbow, looks like that. Here's our 90 degree elbow, and our T. Some cutting oil to make the drilling easier. That's what our drill bit's gonna look like, called a unibit. You can pick it up with your other supplies. You got some lock nuts and some clothesline hooks. First thing you wanna do is clean up the pipes. You pop the uh, end cap off there, rip off the nasty gooey stuff. Uh, use some paint thinner to wipe down the pipes and get all the greasy oil off. Of course, paint thinner is pretty strong stuff. You don't want to huff that, so uh, you're probably going to want to wear some kind of a mask. That mask that you've, uh, you know, you're saving for when the government finally releases the uh, official version of the avian flu and they're done beta testing that. All right, you're going to measure your pipe, make the holes about 13 inches, 11 inches to 13 inches apart. Put some cutting oil on there before you drill your holes. That way that drill bit will go right through there, slice like butter through that black pipe. It's so easy with that cutting oil, you just wouldn't believe it. It'll just cut right through there. In fact, the pipe's almost so soft I could, could make those holes with sharp spoon. If I needed to, I didn't have a drill. All right, so we've got our holes there. And now everything's all cleaned up and we're good to go. We've got our supplies all laid out and opened up and everything. There's our leg tips. We've got some clothesline hooks, some lock nuts, some Teflon tape, our elbows and tees, our nipples. <clears throat> the, uh, you know, little eight inch long nipples there. All right, so we're gonna pop our chair leg tip onto the 90 degree street elbows to give us our legs of, of our gong stand. <sighs> Voila. Simple as pie. And before you start screwing the stuff together, you might want to use some Teflon tape on the threads to make everything sit together a little bit better, everything hold flush. Uh, and if, you know, you don't need to use too much of the tape, I mean, just a little bit goes a long way with the Teflon. Um, just real modest with that. Just uh, put a little of that on there and then and you're all set. All set. All right, good. Great. So now it's time to screw these guys together. You've got your, uh, your legs all done. Pop, pop that nipple right in there. Black pipe, eight inch nipple. All right, you're good to go. Now it's time to screw those into the T's to finish up your legs. Smooth as butter. Smooth as butter. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. There's a leg. I see a leg. All right, we're getting somewhere. Oh, two legs. All right. Good, good. Now just screw your, your 48 inch long pipe in there. It'll just sit right in and screw in smooth. Smooth like butter. Just right in there. Real easy, just screw it in. Just sits right, right in there. Oh, there we go. All right, now. Now we're getting some, oh, okay. So now we're gonna screw on those elbows. Okay, now now those elbows are on there. We're gonna screw in the top bar of the pipe. Now we're gonna pop in our clothesline hook. And we're done! <laughs> Look at that, that was quick. All right, yeah, okay. Now remember, you know, wear, wear a mask when you're using that paint thinner. That's strong stuff, you don't wanna huff that, unless you do. And then you're probably going to want to uh, reevaluate why you bought a gong in the first place. Okay, and that's how to build a gong with Huddy Munder. Excellent. Thank you. Sutnam.